Hi everybody, this is Leah, the artistic director. Um, I hope this finds everybody having a well week. Uh, I was trying to think about what to talk about this week and the theme that kept coming up for me was the idea of how we praise. Um, this actually, which seems appropriate, you know, coming that Palm Sunday is on Sunday, but it actually hasn't come up for me because of worship planning or scripture study. It's become up because of my dog, Annie. Hi, Annie. So, I know, Pastor Jessie showed her dog this week, and this isn't the official dog vlog, but um, unlike Pastor Jessie, um, whose dog is part of her comfort ritual, my dog, Annie, I'm trying to learn how to survive being in a house with her. Um, because some of her behaviors are things that are not always the most comforting, like a lot of whining and demanding. And especially since I'm home all the time and she thinks she has my attention all the time, it's just felt like a nonstop whining and demanding, um, for treats and things. And I realized this isn't tenable. And so I listened to a podcast about dog training and it said that the most effective way to train a dog is to, out of whining, is to ignore the bad behavior and to praise the good behavior. And they kept using that phrase, praise the dog, praise the dog, give the dog praise. And so I was thinking about this and I don't worship my dog. Um, people who uh, have seen my vet bills might uh, think otherwise. But I do love my dog, and um, so I do want to do uh, my best to praise her um, when on those moments that I catch her being a, a good little dog and um, hope that we can uh, continue to make strides in a good direction. And the three ways that they mentioned that you could praise a dog, give a dog praise, were either from a treat or from uh, positive physical contact or words of affirmation, which gets me to my point, which is I have had the thought, if words of affirmation are so powerful that even animals can be bolstered and given confidence by them, then imagine how exponentially powerful they are when they're given, when we give them to one another, to our brothers and sisters. and. I um, I was thinking about, there's a piece of scripture, Zephaniah uh, 317, which is the Lord delights in us. The Lord does not rebuke us with his love, but he um, exalts us with singing. And I thought, first of all, I find that passage to be extremely affirming, but maybe that you could delight and sing over somebody this week. Um, I'm going to try and use patience and delight and sing over Annie plenty, but I also am going to try and reach out to some other people that I know um, and just take a moment to say some words of affirmation to them. Um, we're all going through a really hard time, and I think we can all agree that it is just nice to hear something affirming from somebody else. It can, uh, one little comment can have a ripple effect on our day. And so I think if we're all cognizant of that, um, we can really be kind to and lift each other up in this time and um, what a difference that would make. So I hope to see everybody at worship on Sunday morning where we can um, sing hosannas and praises together um, at online worship at 10 a.m. And you have a wonderful rest of your week. And um, I just want to affirm you as our congregation. We love you so much and we miss you very much. And to continue to connect with you all has been a great blessing and joy to us. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye.